Okay, so we're starting with our circuit diagram which we've printed because uh, we're going to need to use a highlighter uh, alongside our printed, as you'll see below. And I'm going to start by placing my components from the parts bin on the right hand side uh, into the positions I want them to be in. Now, depending on the circuit you're designing, uh, it'll depend on on how you want to lay components out, whether it's important you have components in particular positions. Um, so uh, I'm wanting to have my battery running vertically alongside on the circuit on the right hand side in this case. So just put my switch in place. Now this is a single pole double throw switch. Uh, so we're only using one of the throws. So the track you can see there is going through the left hand uh, throw to the pole in the middle. And just put a capacitor in place. So uh, following through on the uh, uh, the circuit diagram as I'm highlighting off. Uh, it's uh, identifying uh, what I've done and keeping track and what I've done. And I'm beginning to try, uh, by trying to keep the circuit as compact as possible, but I'm thinking about putting components in place. So I'm not going to go any farther than uh, than this in terms of making the connections yet. I want to put the components in place. I'm checking the values on the components. Now I've had to use resistors in this case instead of inductors because there, there isn't a pad uh, configuration for inductors. So I've changed the resistors. So 0.5 of an inch. Uh, that's 12.7 uh, millimeter pitch uh, uh, resistors. And I've changed the values uh, to have them labeled. And you can see I've uh, the details there with uh, for, for the components just to keep it from getting confused. I've uh, put the uh, the values vertically. So those items in black, they're just labels. They're not part of the uh, the circuit itself. They won't be seen when you when you print it out. The red is the are the tracks. The blue are the pads. And again, they'll come out as black when you print. Okay. So you see, I'm starting to make uh, connections, highlighting as I'm going. And uh, now it's important for the transistor, we check, check uh, and choose the right transistor. So I'm getting that, I'm going to rotate that around. You can see I've just checked which uh, of the pins are which, so which is the base, collector and, and emitter. And I'm trying to think about the best position, so I've rotated that around. So you see it can go straight from the emitter uh, around to zero volts. And then I'll be able to, from the circuit diagram, connect uh, to the base, uh, and then uh, connect uh, to the collector. And I've just taken the line too long, so I've right-clicked uh, and I've deleted a node to shorten that track. Okay, so I'm searching for a capacitor. So this is my uh, second capacitor. The first capacitor C1 was an elect electrolytic capacitor. And you can see here that my track hasn't quite lined up. And the reason for that is the uh, the component has come in off the grid, so I rearranged the grid, uh, so I made the grid spacing uh, a, a finer resolution, so I could move that. And you can see now the pads are on uh, grid points. But the grid is fine, so you don't want to have too fine a grid, or else things just start to get a bit confusing. And you can see I'm, I'm, I'm compacting as I'm going along, uh, and I'm trying to think about how things fit together. Now I might need to make some changes later on, uh, especially when I'm, I'm doing more complicated circuits. Um, so so you, it's it's a matter of you, you might have to do some redesigning. Now you can see I'm having to track underneath. So one of the things we can't do is we can't cross. Uh, so I've tracked underneath the capacitor C2 uh, to go up to the LEDs. And that's where I want my LEDs. I want them in that position. And then connect those around. Okay, so third and final capacitor. This is where I'm going to need to do a little bit of changing around to make that fit. So you don't need to create extra tracks to connect components in. You can add them in uh, to wherever wherever those need to be. And it is a really good idea to change your values because you can print out this view when you come to populate your PCB to put your components in uh, and you can use that as a guide. That's a really useful uh, way as a guide to put 
what components in where. And now I'm going to I want to use a, a tilt switch. Uh, so uh, the tilt switch configuration uh, is these four pins. Uh, you can see they're quite close together, so I'm just making the width and the height smaller, so 0 0.08 of an inch, and I'm grouping those together. And two of the pins are connected, which is what I'm doing there. And I'm going to group them so it becomes one pad. And then I need to work out how that's going to fit together. So I need to do a little bit of changing around. So picking up the nodes and the tracks and fitting those together. So uh, so it's a little bit of thinking. OK, it's always good to try and avoid having diagonal lines just randomly. So I'd recommend using horizontal, vertical or 45 degree lines. So you can see I've got some chamfers on. Uh, so now we're pretty much finished. We're going to put the circuit board and do a little bit of rearranging. Now we're going to do the copper area, the area fill. And the final touch is going to be putting the text on. Now it's always a good idea to put text on uh, pra practically because it tells you which way around it should go. But you can also move that around. You can right click and go to font. You can change the font size. You can change the font style. Uh, and yeah, so you can place that wherever wherever you want. So that, that will then help you to put it the right way around. So I've just put a plus sign there on the battery as well, which wasn't marked before. And there we go, that's viewing it in real world. That's viewing it in the, uh, as you'd printed out, uh, in the artwork view. Now that's going to be the view as if it's from the top, which is why the text is in reverse. Uh, so you, you'd be looking from, from behind.